Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads on this 2003 Chevy Monte Carlo. And we show you on the passenger side, but the driver's side is the same procedure. And the items you'll need for this is new brake pads from 1AAuto.com, 19mm socket and ratchet, 14mm wrench, flat blade screwdriver, hammer, large C-clamp, wire brush, brake grease, jack and jack stands, and a torque wrench. Loosen up the lug nut caps. And pull your hub cap off. And then remove the lug nuts and you want to loosen these while the vehicle's on the ground then raise the vehicle and remove them the rest of the way if you don't have air powered tools and now just pull the wheel off next remove the top caliper bolt and loosen the bottom one and i use a 14 millimeter wrench and hook it on with another wrench to give some extra leverage uh, and again remove the top one and loosen the bottom one and once you remove the top one then you can pull the caliper back. Once you pull back the caliper, just pry out the brake pads with a flat blade screwdriver. And then pry off these brake pad slides. On the top are the new pads from Auto. bottom are the old ones, so you can see that the new ones from Money Auto are exactly the same. Pull back your caliper, and then using an old brake pad, just push in that piston. Just twist the large C-clamp, and it'll push the brake pad against the piston and push the piston in. Clean off your brake pad slides using a wire brush. and then push them back into place. And then apply brake grease to the tabs on either end of your brake pads. Slide the brake pads into place. and then push your caliper back up into place and over the brake pads and then replace those two 14 millimeter bolts and tighten them up Replace your wheel. And then replace the lug nuts and tighten them preliminarily. Then lower the vehicle and tighten them the rest of the way. And then torque each of these to 100 foot pounds in a crossing pattern. Replace your hubcap and tighten up these lug nut caps. Whenever you do any work on the brakes, you want to just pump the brake pedal until it firms up and then do a stopping test from 5 miles per hour, then 10 miles. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.